Hello everyone, welcome to YouTube channel Learn with Gisela. In this video of squares and square roots, we are going to take up a question where we have to find the square root of a number by prime factorization method. So the question is, the area of a square field is 5184 meters square. A rectangular field whose length is twice its breadth has its perimeter equal to the perimeter of the square field. Find the area of the rectangular field. So over here, given to us, area of a square field is 5184. So suppose this is a square field where the length and the breadth both are equal to A. Right? So we can say each side of the square is A. So further area is A into A, which is equal to A square. So A square is given to us 5184. Now, so we have to find each side that is A. So each side will be root of 5184. So to find each side of the square field that is A, we need to find the square root of 5184. Over here, we are going to use prime factorization method. So let us start factorizing 5184. Since it's an even number, we can first start with 2. We shall get 2592. Further, again divide by 2, we shall get 1,296. Again divide by 2, we shall get 648. Again divide by 2, we shall get 324. Then divide by 2, we shall get 162. Again divide by 2, we shall get 81. Now we can divide by 3 because it's an odd number now and divisible by 3. So we shall get 27. Again divide by 3, we can get 9. Then by 3 again, we will get 3. And again by 3, we shall get 1. So we have to factorize till the time we get 1. Now make pairs 2 into 2, 2 into 2, 2 into 2, 3 into 3 and 3 into 3. So we can say prime factors of 5184 are 2 square into 2 square into 2 square into 3 square into 3 square. So square root of 5184 we can say it is equal to square root of 2 square into 2 square into 2 square into 3 square into 3 square. Now take out one factor from each pair and find the product. So one factor from each pair we have taken out and now we are going to find the product which is coming 72. So we can say A that is each side of the square is square root of 5184 which is equal to 72. So each side of the square is coming 72 meters. So till now we have calculated from the area we have calculated each side of the square. Now further we will move to finding the perimeter. Now after finding each side of the square field that has come 72 meters, we are going to find the perimeter of the square field. Why? Because over here in the question they have mentioned a rectangular field is there whose length is twice its breadth has its perimeter equal to the perimeter of the square field. So first of all, we are going to find the perimeter of the square field and then we are going to say it is equal to the perimeter of the rectangular field. So perimeter of square field is 4 times of A that is each side 4 into 72 which is equal to 288 meters. Now perimeter of the rectangle they are saying it is equal to the perimeter of the square. So that means twice of length plus breadth is equal to 4a that is equal to 288 meters right now what is length and what is breadth if you see this rectangular field over here the breadth is x meters and length is 2x twice of x right so we can assume let the breadth of the rectangle be x and length of the rectangle be 2x twice of breadth so Perimeter of rectangle is twice length plus breadth, which was equal to perimeter of square, that is 4a. And 4a was equal to 288. So we have written uh, value over here. Twice of length is 2x, breadth is x, is equal to 288. So this is the equation which we need to solve. So 2x plus x is 3x. 3x into 2 is 6x, right? 6x is equal to 288. Further, x is equal to, you will divide 288 by 6 and you will get 48, right? So, x, value of x has come 48, which is our breadth actually. Yes, and twice of 48, we will get length, right? Now, value of x has come 48. 
so we can say breadth of the rectangle which was x is 48 meters and length of the rectangle which was twice of breadth that is 2x is equal to 2 times of 48 that is 96 meters now in the question they have also asked us to find the area of the rectangular field so area of the rectangular field is always length into breadth which is equal to 96 into 48 is equal to 4608 meters square so we can say area of the rectangular field is 4608 meters square so this is how we have solved this question so this is it hope you have understood the question please do like and subscribe my channel thank you everyone have a good day ahead